Oh, it's guys like, that yeah. show their daughter's boyfriend the gun before yeah, the date, yeah, before they on prom near, night. Yeah, that's a that if you that's a really good um, Google image search. Are dads with guns on prom night? Yeah, there's like all these pictures of guys like I'm gonna with commit their daughter, murder. their daughter and the date, and them and their gun. They, I'm literally they, they, gonna they, splatter yeah. the brains of your child all over the wall. Because I have some pedophilic nature about my own daughter. Yeah. Because only I can end her virginity. No, <laughs> only terrible. I can so make sorry. her bust. Yeah. Um, but you're saying like now, now Miatas have turned the corner. They're still Miatas. Now they're for now they're for Sebastian Maniscalco. Now they're for Sebastian yeah. Maniscalco. <laughs> These used, they used to be for queers. <laughs> <laughs> and now they just, they got an they're Italian version. Italian they got an even they got an even more Italian. Yeah. yeah. When it was one Italian car, it wasn't enough for me. But now it's two. Now, there's two different kinds of Italian cars I could drive. Yeah. Why not? You guys familiar with Sebastian Maniscalco? Yeah, yeah, he was an Irishman, right? Playing yeah, is he, he was in the Irishman. Yeah, he was in the Irishman. When is he in the Irishman? He's in the Irishman. He does crazy, a great job. Uh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, he has great. a nickname. Hold on. None of us he can was, remember he, he got God <laughs> no, in that like, movie. He gets God. Like like when um, I watched the Irishman twice, and I somehow did not catch it. You know when Robert De Niro goes into the restaurant and is like... I can't do an impression of, for the job like this. You're gonna need two guns. Yeah. The one you use, and he goes in and shoots and, everybody. And Sebastian Mascow goes, "Hey, yeah. how about tree guns? <laughs> <laughs> what if you had tree of them? Is that is that the same? Uh, I honestly don't remember anything. I did watch. He it plays twice. Joe Gallo. Crazy, yeah. That's it's doing nothing for me. I remember what's the fat guy's name? The fat Albanian guy. Uh, Action Bronson. Yeah, Crazy Joe Gallo. Yeah. yeah. Action Bronson plays the the ca- the, the coffin cast, the, ca- the, the coffin, coffin salesman. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that guy. Yeah. That guy's cool. I like him. We're going to have him on the show and he's going to teach Adam how to eat food on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz we got to we got to have broad appeal. We got to figure out broad appeal. Mm-hmm. You know, to get everybody Everybody love Adam. Oh, see, I wish I could learn that whole skill of that that James Gandolfini skill of eating food on camera. Yeah, yeah. It's just Fisting always making food. it look like the most fucking scrumptious looking meal. You, you know what I always wondered planet. about The Sopranos is, do you think he had to come into ADR like nose sounds? Yeah, it was always the nose whistle yeah. when he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he would have to come in and sit in the booth with an editor and just like. <laughs> is that good? Is he doing it again or what? Do you think so? I, I mean, I don't see why not. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm, if this they had like is, one I'm, I'm, truly, I'm truly worth. the worst of all interviewers because I'll pitch something as like a half assed bit yeah, and, and then throw like, it to you and be like, what do you think about that? You want to riff on that? Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you take a bite, like, bite out of that? Why don't you make something happen with that <laughs> shitty idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah which I myself. bailed on. Well, I <laughs> guess dumb. they it's could like, take the one sniff. It's like giving, it's like giving a homeless person your rice from Panda Express. Yeah. You eat all the meat off the top and you're like, oh, no, I'm a good guy. Yeah, How about I'll give this bum rice that I don't yeah, want to it's finish. all congealed just into so a square. You know, yeah. Just so you know, it's for the garbage. Yeah, yeah there's a it's couple of carrot cubes in there and some yeah. peas. No orange chicken, but all of the glaze just sat at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this is good for your fucking... It's like a yo plate yogurt you didn't shake up. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And stir. Yeah, your dying heart will pump this right down to your <laughs> ankles immediately, pal. <laughs> uh, um... So yeah, I like the Sebastian Maniscalco. That was a good bit about mm-hmm. like an actor who drives something else. So who, okay, who else what about have? a guy? How okay. about uh, Odame from uh, The Color Purple? I'm unfamiliar. Is that The Color Purple? I don't remember. <laughs> <Is Odeme? laughs> <laughs> Odame is sorry is is Whoopi Goldberg's character in Ghost. Now oh, I'm thinking about oh. movie, but the way where my mind went is I thought I'm thinking about like movie priest. characters, cars, and then I, then I thought of like oh famous cars driven by movie characters, and then the first thing I remembered was uh, when they tried to bring back the back the Ford Thunderbird and they put it in a James Bond movie. That's my da- my dad's favorite car. Really, the like eight, a two thousand eighth generation, yeah, two thousand three Firebird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all, it all is a Lincoln Mark. What was Mark. that? What was that? It's a Lincoln Mark Seven. What or was that? Or a Lincoln Mark Mark Eight. No, Though it was day. so, uh, it yeah. looked it looks so crap. Well, Mark Seven's the Fox body. Okay. Yeah. And this that was the way it like circle headlights, right? Uh, yes. But what's that design? What was that design thing called? That uh, some design? sort of like new, new retro yeah, or something new, like well, that. Uh, yeah, but it, uh, the, the, it's like a PT Cruiser. It was the one right Same after. Style, yeah. Yeah. Cause, but, uh, that was like a standalone because the the Focus came out around the same time, right? And that one was like new. 
New mm, Edge yeah. or what was the name of it? Well, New Edge is what his Mustang is. Yeah. Yeah. And then no, you, yeah, SN95, SN95 and then there's SA95 New Edge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like right on the line. But we're so deep. This is like so deep in the yeah. car culture. A yeah, but here's the yeah, thing. Just a couple of in men in talking. about 10 seconds, I'll find a way to make it about Chinese people. <laughs> and that's what these that's what these people want. <laughs> you know? Are there have the, has China been able to make a, a drivable car? Yes, now. Jason Torchinsky from Jalopnik ordered a car from China and came from a crate. Really? And, and it's on their uh, YouTube channel. It's there is this. <laughs> it came in one of the boxes with the little metal handle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just open it, and Bart Simpson is catching yeah. a ride from the Hong Kong. The, the Hong Chi. Okay, thank you. Number one. Good luck. <laughs> LX. He had this thing, and General Tso's motor. <laughs> yeah. I feel so. It's it's so interesting to be on this podcast and wanting to join in and riff with you guys but yeah. know that I'm in a different world on the internet that I can't do what you do. It's all one yeah. world. That's the yeah. thing. That's, I've been I've been watching a lot more um like uh black people content from the early 1990s and I found out that it's all one world. Oh and yeah, we're, yeah. And we're all living in it. Yeah, it's true. You know, and That's we all need to thing. yeah, link arms around the globe. Remember when they tried to do that? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they tried to do the what, whole, what, what arms Mongoloid? across America. Yeah, exactly. Arms across America. Just the dumbest thing possible. Yeah. yeah. Like what a was really that, dumb idea? What was that supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like for like. He's gonna prove a point. We a made the biggest fucking conga line in history. Dream achieved, Martin Luther King. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's you like can come back you, to life now. Now you guys can <laughs> shut up. Yeah, it's like no, the, no dude, more you know, complaining. Trying to play Red Rover against uh, yeah. the fucking <laughs> Jolly Green Giant or some shit. Yeah, take that, Hitler. Wait, so what's this Chinese car we're hearing about? I'd have to look it up, but it's but there's a specific segment for like your grandparents uh -huh. who have cataracts, all cloudy, they can't see too far ahead. But we will make a car for them. It's essentially a golf cart. Uh -huh. A very small car, smaller than a Japanese key car. And it is it goes like thirty-five. And if you picture a, a vehicle from Richard Scary's Busy World. Wow. See, this is that's what I mean. Weird, it's all weird. one yeah, world. We, yeah, were just, we were just talking, we were just about, talking about this. Scary. I don't know if it was on camera or no, not. No, it was not on camera. It was on the journey with Mike. Yeah. Yeah. When we're not doing the show, we just talk about baby stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> Jar Jar Binks before we started the episode. <laughs> <laughs> what if they learned how to Boston up at babies? <laughs> Wait, so they've they so China a pool with dude, cum. We gotta we, that America. We gotta get. We're they made a thirty-five mile an hour car. Like we're fucked at this point. They don't need us at all. Well, cute. We're unsure. Of, like at on a long enough timeline. Trucks like the Great Wall, which is a real name for a truck. It's called the Great Wall. Wow. That I saw in New Zealand, but haven't gotten a chance to drive yet. Ch ch real quick, China needs to chill out with the fucking Great Wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, we don't even... It do, happened. We don't even talk about the Freedom Tower, and it was built six years ago. Yeah. Nobody's like, the fucking Freedom Tower. China's been, like, just really just sucking their own dick over this wall for, it's what, 8,000 years now? <laughs> it is a wonder of the world. It's, but it's their version of the fucking linking arms bullshit. <laughs> what if we made a big wall? You know, it's like, who gives a fuck? And still now, they can build an entire city overnight. They can build a 30 million person, person city. city. Yeah. What's up in the those? fucking that, blink that of an no eye? No one's even heard the name of. And they're still going off about this fucking wall. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so that's this, the end of the China corner. So this car <laughs> sucks or it's cool? Or you want to drive it? Well, I want to drive everything. So, yeah. Is I, that your rating system? Sucks, cool, or I need to drive it? It's a box I haven't checked yet. Yeah. And I got to figure out what it is. I've, I saw him in New Zealand. And I was talking to a tradie down there. And he told me that... What is a tradie? Is yeah, it's like a, a contractor. It's a, oh, okay. They're, they're the race trader, like an Australian... A tradie. Race. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I only hang out with the Spanish folks. <laughs> I've been, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been, I've been excommunicated from... Uh, yeah, they don't yeah. really... Uh, I'm a tradie. Like I'm a trade. I'm a race tradie. <laughs> yes. Yes, I fucking hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand him. 
can't. Just airbows for me, thanks. Yeah, just <laughs> just just me and my me airbo friends. No, it's uh, the Maoris. Yeah, that's I, New Zealand. Yeah, I learned that. Well, he said it in New Zealand, yeah. trade in New Zealand. Oh, this yeah. is New Zealand. Sorry. Yeah, I learned the hecker, and I'm like, I'm done with white shit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I I asked myself like, what wh- why what are even white people? What yeah. are they? What even are they? Yeah, absolute um, garbage. <laughs> They're trash heaps people. Heaps trash. They're, They're heaps, heaps, heaps trash. trash. Sorry, we'll just do this. For okay, the next sorry. Segment. Yeah, we do. Real this quick, for I want to just mention it's that it's lovely this, to see this in person. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this is brought to you by mybookie.com or oh. .ag. Sorry, .ag. Yeah, we got uh, uh, Roy told me he sent over some new copy. Oh, let's hear. Do you send and it to me? I say Roy. His name might be Kyle or uh, Frank. I keep forgetting. I've been friends with this guy for years now, and uh, but he's Canadian. And you know, I was like, I was. We went to Italy before. Remember what I was saying about Europeans? How they kind of creep me out, and uh, you know, because they seem like, uh, you know, they seem like uh, like Sims or something. You know what I mean? Like or like uh, like in the Matrix, the fake people that the agents become. Very Truman mm-hmm. Show type. Yeah, they're just like the Europeans are just sort of scenery, and I feel the same way about Canadians. They're very. They they look like creative skaters basically. They just, yeah, the whole thing. They're is like, like a Chinese AI. Yeah, you try let to the, you make Americans. Well, yeah, you let the PlayStation come up with a yeah. guy, you yeah. know, and then you just slap the name. There's on stuff it. like yeah. I remember we were there. I may have said it on Come Town when we were there, but there was like there there was like a sign in a coffee shop that said our genders bring all our milkshakes bring all the genders to the yard, and we're like okay, so like a Chinese computer program wrote that. Like it's it's like it's like it's like those fake articles. Joey, that are just his name AI. is Joey. Joey. It looks yeah. It's like it's like um like a bootleg uh like when China bootlegs like uh, mm-hmm. an American product, mm-hmm. but like the uh, the like social justice version of that. You know how fast can we crank this out? Yeah, we yeah. Need now we yeah. need to be on in front of whatever's happening. Yeah, we'll do it now. Is is it grammatically correct? Is there agreement in this sentence? Don't worry about it. No, well, it let me tell you, tell you this. Mr. Joey forgot to send me the copy, or I just uh, don't have the right. Anyway, guys, mybook.ag. It's a great place to go. It's if you like if you like betting online. If you like betting this online, is definitely you're one of the websites website. where you can do that. Uh, it's got the extension AG because it's some country Swiss. And, Swiss, Switzerland, and, and Switzerland, and you know that they, they are neutral except for when it comes to betting on sports. Yeah, um, my bookie. Do you guys do any sports betting? Uh, no. Negative, just the stock market. Yeah, that's. Are you a stocks guy? Yeah. Are you like a yeah. meme stock guy? Nope. No. Nope. I'm in it for when I'm uh, 65 and taking deductions at 71. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, brother. Yeah, we, I got to find We can talk about stocks if you want. But, I got to But you got to do this, Reed. Sorry. No, anyway, so hey, guys, listen. Hey, you, we don't have to do shit. They got now. a lot of really ex- <laughs> exciting promotions. They got 100% sports welcome bonus, 150% casino bonus for up to $750. You can bet with Bitcoin. Table games, live casino, slots, sports, and mobile betting. VIP online betting experience. Our team, our vision. I'm just reading through the website here. No, I'm so. doing the same exact thing. What do we Look. got? What are the upcoming things? Listen, spoiler: the, boxing happening. The right? Premier League just started back up. Um, soccer's back on the uh, baseball. We're heading towards October. Mm-hmm. You can put in your bets for who's going to make the playoffs. Uh, they have. Uh, you can bet on the ponies, even if you're not at the Belmont Stakes. You can bet on them. You can bet. They have live in-game wagering. 